In October 2023, Prince Abdul Mateen broke many hearts when he announced his engagement to Anisha, his girlfriend of several years. The engagement photo shared on his Instagram with 2.5 million followers captivated everyone with a dazzling diamond ring on his fiancée's finger. While expectations were high for an extravagant royal wedding with lavish dowries, the actual list of gifts surpassed everyone's imagination. Stay tuned to today's video to unveil the extraordinary wedding gifts from the Brunei royal family and don't forget to subscribe to the Billionaire Dynasty for more such fascinating stories. Prince Abdul Mateen, born in 1991, is the fourth son of Brunei's Sultan Haji Hassan al Bolkir. Although sixth in line to the throne, he stands out as one of Asia's most prominent royal figures. The 32-year-old prince is a major and pilot in the Royal Brunei Air Force and has twice represented his country as a professional polo player at the SEA Games. On January 7, the dashing 90s-born prince embarked on his extraordinary 10-day wedding, culminating on January 16. He married Anisha Rosner Isa Kalibik, a strikingly talented businesswoman with noble lineage. Anisha, the granddaughter of the Sultan's special advisor Pehin Deto Haji Issa Ibrahim, is a successful entrepreneur, owning the fashion brand Silk, collective and co-managing the travel company Authentiri. The Islamic Katam al Quran ritual on the pre-wedding. Held a few days before the grand 10-day wedding, the Katam al Quran ceremony is a pre-wedding ritual practiced by some Muslims symbolizing purity. The Katam al Quran ritual in a Brunei royal wedding is a deeply spiritual and significant ceremony, reflecting the Islamic faith's prominence in the country's traditions. This ritual involves the complete reading of the Quran, Islam's holy book, and is typically conducted a few days before the main wedding festivities. During the Katam al Quran, the bride, often dressed in traditional and modest attire, undertakes the recitation of the final chapters of the Quran, signifying the completion of its reading. The ceremony is usually an intimate affair, attended primarily by female relatives and close friends. After the completion of the recitation, prayers due are offered, not only to mark the conclusion of the Quran reading, but also to bless the upcoming marriage. These prayers are an essential part of the ceremony, invoking God's blessings for a happy, successful, and harmonious married life. The Katam al Quran ritual reflects the deep intertwining of religious faith with cultural practices in Brunei's royal traditions. It emphasizes the importance of spiritual purity, moral preparation, and religious devotion as foundational elements of marriage, serving as a reminder that in Brunei's royal customs, Marriage is not just a social contract, but a sacred covenant. On January 8, Malaysian designer Taifa Deas, renowned for bridal wear, shared images of Anisha Rosner during the Katam al Quran ceremony. It's an honor to play a role in the Brunei royal wedding. Ferdes posted on Instagram featuring Rosner in a white baju kurung, a traditional dress worn by women in Brunei, Malaysia, Indonesia, and Singapore. The dress, crafted from intricate Brunian Tenyunan fabric, a key artisanal textile of the country, featured crystal embellishments on the sleeves and hem. Rosner completed her look with a white headscarf and natural makeup. However, it was her striking accessory that caught everyone's attention, the enormous diamond engagement ring gifted by the groom. The surprising truth about Prince Maitin's wedding gift in Brunei's traditional customs, a wedding typically spans 12 days. However, the couple must be engaged for a year beforehand, a period of rest and adaptation to each other's family habits and lifestyles. During these 365 days, both families prepare for important ceremonies, including the meeting ceremony, where the groom's family brings luxurious items like rings, cash, or other requested items to the bride's family. Acceptance of these gifts signals a green light for setting a wedding date. Despite the lavish wedding, many were surprised that Prince Maitin's bridal gift wasn't as extravagant as one might expect in a royal wedding. I married Anisha Rosnar with a wedding gift of 1,000 Brunei dollars in cash, Prince Maitin stated, as reported by Ruatir. This modest sum, without additional lavish gifts, seemed uncharacteristically simple for a prince. 
However, royal wedding enthusiasts explain that royal family members often downplay dowries and wedding gifts to avoid ostentation and undue pressure on their partners. The giving of money or gifts is seen merely as a formality. Ultimately, the value of the wedding gift pales in comparison to the love and affection the couple shares, whether in a royal or a common wedding. Prince Mateen's choice to present a modest wedding gift of $1,000 Brunei dollars challenges conventional perceptions of royal opulence and underscores a profound message about the essence of true love. In a world often captivated by material wealth and extravagant displays, this gesture signifies a deliberate departure from the traditional royal narrative. It subtly conveys that true love transcends monetary value asserting that the bond and commitment between two individuals cannot be quantified or enhanced by material possessions. This act, seemingly uncharacteristic for a prince, aligns perfectly with his earlier self-description as someone who values simplicity and authenticity. This modest gift also speaks to the broader societal reflections on the role of money and gifts in symbolizing love and commitment. In many cultures, Wedding gifts are often laden with the expectation to impress or signify social status. However, Prince Matin's decision to minimize the financial aspect of the gift places the focus back on the personal and emotional significance of the union rather than its material representation. It challenges the notion that love and commitment should be measured by the price of gifts exchanged and instead promotes the idea that the most meaningful connections are grounded in mutual respect understanding and shared values. In this sense, the wedding gift becomes a powerful statement about the true nature of love and the relative insignificance of material wealth in defining the depth and authenticity of a relationship. Prince Maitin of Brunei's lavish wedding is not only a grand event in scale, but also a testament to tradition and spiritual beliefs. In human society, marriage is a crucial milestone, symbolizing growth and procreation and a sacred commitment between two individuals in the presence of the divine nature, parents and their partners. Royal families often believe that hosting an extravagant wedding is not just a display of power and wealth, but a celebration of this divine union under the watchful eyes of the deities. Particularly for a wealthy monarchy like Brunei, such opulent weddings are not just tradition, but also a representation of hopes for the royal lineage's future. Rest assured, there are many more surprises and unheard details in the ceremonies. Don't forget to subscribe to the Billionaire Dynasty for more intriguing revelations about this wedding. Goodbye and see you next time.